50 years from now, I don't want the people think of the NFL as something less than it is today. Because we as members, senior members, graduated members of that fraternity, aren't coming back and helping develop the men that are going to take on those roles in the future. I love meeting these guys and, and seeing, seeing guys who, who are living out so much of what we're talking about. Where they have conditions that, uh, in their past, that they're not going to let dictate their future, and they're taking control of their future, and they want the NFL dream, and they want they want beyond the NFL dream. They they have high aspirations both on and off the field, and it just validates every effort we make. This is going to be the best time of your life. One bad decision because of how old you are affects all these. It's one of my true passions in life now to be able to just pay it forward. I'm, it feels like I'm talking to myself, and um. It makes me really appreciate the fact that the NFL has these type of opportunities for me to come back and shed some light on education and letting these young guys know that while we pull it for them to make it to the NFL, we also pull it for them in life. If you don't have your degree, guys, right? people with the degree are going that way, people that don't have their degrees are going that way. Understand that you're going to be a former player a lot longer than you're going to be a player and equip yourself to be successful as a former player. Just have a good attitude, be flexible, understand that you control your destiny. It's, be a driver, not a passenger, and just pay it forward. As, um, as Pat said the best, man, be a guy that helps a help your teammates and other guys get better.